Hello! Dear students, we want to invite you to watch our new lecture that was created as a Department of Propedeutic of Internal Medicine No. 1, Bogomolets National Medical University. Lecture Symptoms of Respiratory Disease based on questioning of the patient, palpation and percussion of the chest. Aim of the lecture to make acquaintance with the symptoms of diseases of the respiratory system on the basis of questioning of the patient and palpation and percussion methods. Plan of the lecture, you will know to do, how to describe the main complaints of the patient in case of respiratory system pathology. We will focus attention on history of the disease, on past medical history, on family history of respiratory system pathology. Uh, to point out at the most prominent visual aspects during the inspection of the thorax and dynamic change while breathing. Point out the most widespread palpation signs. Uh, we will remind you to topographical locations of the lungs inside the chest. Point out the most widespread percussion signs and we will focus attention on the complex of inspection, palpation and percussion size in case of different diseases. First of all, it's molestia grotti, complaints of the patient. Uh, what are the most popular complaints of patient with respiratory diseases? First of all, it's dyspnoia, next cough, sputum, hemoptysis, chest pain and wheezes. You should know that dyspnoia is a difficult uh, and labored breathing with shortness of breathing, it's also called, it's commonly observed with pulmonary or cardiac diseases. You should uh, know that in general dyspnoia increases with the severity of the underlying condition and it's important to establish the amount and kind of efforts that produce dyspnoia. First of all, you should ask a patient it is present even when the patient is resting. Uh, how much walking um, on a level of surface or upstairs? Is it necessary to stop and uh, rest when climbing stairs? Or with what other activities of daily life does dyspnea begin? And with what level of physical demand also? Shortness of breathes. Uh, one set could be sudden and gradual duration, gagging or shocking event before one set. Pattern. At position, uh, most comfortable position, you should ask. Number of pillows used to sleep comfortably, if it is neat. Related to extent of exercise, some certain activities, time of day eating or some environmental exposure. It is harder to exhale um, or uh, inhale. So, uh, after this, you could put... Uh, is a variant of the uh, dyspnoia. It could be inhalatory, exhalatory and mixed. Severity, extent of activity limitation, fatigue with breathing, anxiety about getting air. Some associated symptoms may be pain or discomfort relationship to specific point on respiratory exertion or location. Maybe cough, maybe uh, diaphoresis patient have or you could look for ankle edema and efforts to treat uh, oxygen use. Next, our complaint, it's cough. Uh, cough, it's a reflection act. Describe the cough according to its moisture, frequency, regularity, pitch and loudness, quality and circumstances. Next characteristic of cough, it is dry or moist. You should also ask about one set, an acute one set, particularly with fever, suggests some infection. Frequency of occurrence. Note whether the cough is seldom or often present. An infrequent cough may result from some allergens or environmental insults. Regularity of the cough. A regular paroxysmal cough is hard in pertussis. In a regular occurring cough may have a variety of causes, some smoking or uh, heart failure or maybe inspired foreign body and so on. Pitch and loudness. The cough may be loud and high-pitched or quiet and relatively low-pitched. Postural influences. A cough may occur or soon after a person has reclined or assumed an erect position. Quality. A dry cough may sound loud and harsh if it is caused by some compression of the respiratory truncus tree or, for example, tumor or horse if it is caused by some croup. Cough. 
Describe a cough according to its moisture, frequency, regularity, pitch and loudness, quality and circumstances. Here you could see history of present illness. Uh, you should know one set, nature of cough, sputum production, duration, frequency with activity or certain times of day and sputum characteristics, of course, amount, color, full odor, pattern, severity, associated symptoms and efforts to treat. Some causes of sputum. Uh, you should know that color of sputum and uh, characteristic of sputum also play a huge role. So during bacterial infection you could see yellow, green, rust, clear or transparent, purulent, blood streaked and sticky sputum. If it is viral infection it could be blood streaked but not common. Chronic infectious diseases, um, all of the above that we discussed, and particularly abundant in the early morning, sly, intermittent blood streaking, occasionally large amounts of blood could be also. If it is cancer, you could see sly, persistent, intermittent blood streaking. During infarction, it could be blood clotted, large amounts of blood, occasional large amount of blood, also you could see during tuberculosis cavity. Next, our uh, complaint, it is a chest pain. You should know one set in duration, if it is associated with trauma, coughing present or no, low respiratory infection it could be some, if patient have recent anesthesia or surgery, history of thrombosis you should ask, prolonged immobilization if was, increasing the risk for pulmonary embolism. Associated symptoms such shallow breathing, fever, coughing, anxiety about getting air, radiation of pain to neck or arms if present, efforts to treat heart or pain medication, uh, other medications, recreation drug use if patient use it. History of present illness if patient have cough, what one said was nature of cough is it dry, moist, wet, hacking, horse and so on. Sputum production if present, duration, frequency, with activity if it is changed. Sputum characteristics uh, as usual amount, color, full odor, pattern, severity, associated symptoms if present shortness of breathe, chest pain or tightness with breathing, fever, nasal congestion and noisy respiration. Efforts to treat prescription or non uh, prescription drugs some uh, lozenges, uh, dry candy or frequent sips of water. You should also ask about past medical history if patient have some trauma, thoracic, nasal or pharyngotracheal trauma or surgery maybe. If patient use oxygen or some ventilation assisting devices. If patient have chronic pulmonary diseases, some tuberculosis maybe, bronchitis, emphysema and so on other chronic diseases, maybe some cardiovascular diseases, cancer, uh, testing allergy, pulmonary function test uh, or tuberculin skin test or chest, um, some x-ray maybe, immunization against streptococcus pneumonia and influenza. During personal and social history, you should pay attention in employment, at home environment, at tobacco use, of course, uh, type of tobacco, duration and amount, uh, pack years to calculate, um, and exposure to respiratory infectious influenza, tuberculosis, and of course, nowadays, uh, uh, very necessary for us, uh, COVID-19. Then you should ask about nutritional status, some uh, use of therapy, uh, exercise tolerance, some hobbies of patient and use of alcohol and recreational drugs. Family history, uh, at family history necessary for us tuberculosis, cystic fibrosis, emphysema, bronchoectasis, some malignancy, some allergies, asthma, atopic dermatitis, bronchitis and clotting disorders. It is a risk of pulmonary embolism. Inspection of the thorax first of all uh, could be uh, static and dynamic. As a static you should look to the constitutional types. Of course you should uh, know the shape uh, of the uh, chest. Uh, maybe patient have some pathologist type chest shape. So of course uh, you should pay attention to the gait and uh, um, how patient uh, feel now. Uh, next you should also pay attention to the uh, fingers. 
if patient have uh, nails uh, clapped uh, or maybe you could see yellow nail syndrome uh, during bronchiectasis if patient have for a long time chronic obstruct pulmonary disease we could see these changes at the fingers and at the nails also uh, type of breathing um, could be normal, you know that during the dynamic inspection we should uh, calculate, check uh, breathing rates that are uh, uh, normal from 12 to 20. Uh, bradypnea is slower than 20 breaths per minute, tachypnea more than 20. Uh, hyperventilation could be also, you could use it, uh, you could uh, look it only at the uh, monitor. Uh, sucking, air trapping, chain Toxic pathological types of breathing, Kusmaul also pathological type, biot and ataxic breathing. Uh, also, you should pay attention to nasal breathing, uh, appearance of external nose, some nasal patency, uh, if it is presence of discharge, clusting, flaring, polyps, uh, uh, some discrimination maybe of odors present. Next, you should look to throat and mouth. Uh, number of occlusion and uh, condition of teeth, uh, if patient have missing some teeth or presence of dental appliance. Uh, characteristics, of course, of lips, uh, some thumb, uh, buccal and oral mucosa and floor of mouth. If uh, voice quality present, uh, pay attention or some discrimination of taste if present. And look to the neck. You should look for fullness, mobility, supplements and strength. Maybe some changes in position of trachea present, some tireoid size shape nodes uh, and so on. You should look to the tireoid gland and present of masses, webbing and skin force. As the chest, as we talk about it, uh, size and shape of the chest, uh, tenderness over lips, uh, presence of some retractions, use of accessory muscles and diaphragmatic excursion. Lungs, uh, calculate uh, respiratory rate, depth, regularity, quietness or easy of uh, respiration, uh, do palpation, percussion and auscultation. If cough present, you should give a characteristic of this cough or if it, you hear that present have, uh, patient have presence of friction rub, some megophony, some bronchophony, you should also write down about this. What is the physical examination findings? You could uh, see that it is pectoral uh, vocal fremitus. Yes, it's called also pectoral fremitus. Uh, uh, how we should do it during person uh, speaking? Uh, the vocal cords create some vibrations. It's called vocal fremitus in the tracheobronchial tree and through the lungs and chest wall, where they can be felt uh, by your hands. This is usually assessed with the healthcare provider placing uh, the flat of their palms on the chest wall and then asking a the patient to repeat some phrases containing low frequency vowels such as blue balance of uh, toys for tots or scooby doo 99 or ararat. Uh, an increase in tactile fremitus indicates denser or inflammated lung tissue which can be used by disease such as pneumonia. A decrease suggests air or fluid in the pleural spaces or decrease in lung tissue density, which can be caused by diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or even asthma. Types of vocal fremitus, ronchal fremitus, pleura fremitus and uh, tussi fremitus. Uh, you could see the description of it on this picture. Next, it's the type of percussion uh, of the lungs. It could be, first of all, comparative and topographical. Percussion, it is a subjective method of examination that based on evaluation of sounds type during the knocking on the thorax. Comparative is a revealing of percussion sound feature on symmetrical areas of the chest. First of all, you should know areas of the chest and lines of the chest. In which area we do comparative percussion? First of all, subclavicular area, clavicular area, subclavicular, and um, axillaris, suprascapularis, interscapularis, and subscapularis. Topographical percussion aim to determine the lower border of the lung, upper border of the lung, the width of cranks area, active and passive mobility of lower border of the lungs, and the width of trauma space. Topographical percussion, lower borders of the lung, you could see the picture according to the topographical lines. Parasternal line, right lung, uh, should be at the fifth intercostal space, 
um, also my clavicular line at the six intercostal space, anterior axillary line, right lung seventh intercostal space and left lung also mid axillary right lung 8th intercostal space and left lung also posterior axillary line at the 9th intercostal space capillary line at the 10th intercostal space paraspinal line spinal source process um, of t2 and left lung also so here is a picture you can see peculiarities of percussion how you should place um, flexion and uh, how you should place your finger I want to remind you that we have our YouTube channel um, where you could see uh, the methodical of percussion, palpation and auscultation of the lung, how to do it. In this picture you could see Kronings field, uh, Kronings isthmus, uh, how to check it and uh, by red color you could see on, uh, of course this field. Cooperative percussion, uh, resonant clear pulmonary sound you could hear, intermediate pulmonary sound because duller, also you could hear dull sound, hyperresonant tympanic cold sound, band box sound over the hyperinflated lungs of emphysema you could hear. So please look areas for comparative percussion, you could see how you should put your finger and knock on it. Percussion tones hurt over the chest, uh, you know that uh, you should give a characteristic, its intensity, pitch, duration and quality, type of tones it could be resonant, loud, uh, low pitched, uh, long duration, heaven, quality, hollow. Flat type of tone, soft intensity, high pitch, short duration and very dull. Dull sound have medium intensity, medium to high pitch, medium duration and dull third quality. Tympanic also could be type of tone and hyper-resonant characteristics you also could see in the picture. Thanks for your attention.